Sports Radio 92.9 The Game. With news from around the association, this is Game Time's NBA Crossover on Sports Radio 92.9 The Game. All right, the Hawks in action tomorrow at home at Phillips Arena. They take on the Clippers. But last night, oh, that's a heartbreaker. And Steve Holman joins us, the longtime voice of the Atlanta Hawks. You can follow him on Twitter at Real Voice of Hawk. And Steve, you know, I'm watching a little bit of that game uh, because the Monday night football game was out of hand. And I said, well, what are the Hawks doing? And I tune in and I'm like, hey, not only is it a game, they can win this thing. And Tim Duncan, well, does what Tim Duncan does. Well, you know, he did, and we've seen him do it a million times. And, you know, one of the things, though, uh, Carl, I really liked about last night was, uh, you know, we, we had an eight-point lead. They came back, took an eight-point lead, and they started to steamroll the game, which, you know, you've seen a hundred times with San Antonio over the years. But then all of a sudden, the Hawks back and uh, got right back into the game again. So I, I like that. And, uh, you know, as Coach Budden said after the game, uh, you know, even though you, you had to lose the way they lost, uh, they did a lot of good things last night. I thought they, they played as well as they played in probably four or five games in that one last night. And, uh, you know, when the season started, we all said it was going to be a work in progress and it was going to take, you know, 25, 30, maybe even half the season to figure it all out. And I think getting out of the gate the way they did as quickly as they did maybe got us all a little overly excited. And uh, I think last night, though, I, I was more encouraged last night than I've been, you know, in a while about this team. Steve, the Hawks are fifth in the NBA in assists per game. They're sharing the rock. 23.9, uh, you know, when you look at assists per game. That's an encouraging number for me because that shows the unselfishness. And Cordell and I talk about it all the time when we watch this team. You know, whether we have star power or not, that's neither here nor there. The fact that they share the ball and it looks like a team concept. They're buying in to what Coach Bud is trying to preach. Yeah, you're right about that, and, and the ball does move. I mean, it is fun to watch, and I think that uh, everybody that's been to, to Phillips Arena and either you know watched or listened uh, you know to the games on the road or whatever, I, I think you can see it. And, and I and the guys, I mean, you know, you talk about it a lot that, that these are these are good guys, they're solid guys, and they've all kind of, uh, as, as we like to say, bought into the whole thing. And I, I think they know that if they keep doing what they're doing, it's going to be okay. And uh, and and I think it's a matter now of you know trying to figure out. Uh, different combinations, different rotations. And remember the last few games, uh, Kyle Korver hasn't been out there, so that takes an offensive weapon away. And, uh, you know, it allows teams to do some other things. But, uh, you know, I, I, like I said, I was encouraged last night, and those assist totals are, are always very good. And I thought one of the, one of the things last night that was very good, too, was uh, at the, if you look at the box score, I think we had, I don't know, eight, nine, ten more shots than San Antonio did. And one of the things that, you know, you always talk about it in basketball is, you know, more shots, more points, more points, more wins, that kind of thing. And, uh, you know, you keep putting it up there. And, and I think that's one of the things, too. Coach Bud's not afraid to let guys shoot. And, uh, you know, guys like Millsap, who really put in some time in the summer to shoot threes. Damari Carroll told me the other day he shot a 1,000 a day uh, last summer. I mean, can you imagine shooting a 1,000 three-pointers every day? That, that, that's unbelievable. Steve, it's is Five starters uh, scoring in double figures. Is, is that a contribution to Mike Budenholzer's system? Because if you can have that for the rest of the season and somebody all of a sudden just just starts shining and become that go-to guy in this offense and how they play the defense as well, uh, you can see this team making a pretty credible run, can't you? Yeah, you're, you're right, Cordell. I mean, I, you know, I, I do think it's a, it's a credit to the system, and it's also, I think, a credit to the guys that are, that are in the system right now, the players that they've brought in. Uh, you know that that Danny and his staff and and the coaches have put together right now. And who knows if this? You know, we don't know if this is going to be the actual finished product right now uh, that we're going to see maybe in April or May if we, if we get that far. Uh, you know, there are a lot of options that are available, uh, but I think they like the way it's going right now. And uh, yeah, like with all, we've had a couple of games, six, seven guys have been at double figures, and and like we mentioned a minute ago, I mean, and and there was no Kyle Corver last night either, so. I think he may be back by tomorrow night. It looks like he will. Uh, so that'll certainly help things uh, against the Clippers. We're talking to Steve Holman, the longtime voice of the Atlanta Hawks. You can listen to Hawks games right here on Sports Radio 92.9 The Game. Carl Dukes, Cordell Stewart. Uh, what do you think about Lou Williams since he's been back? Well, I think he, I thought last night he looked pretty comfortable. Uh, you know, he's been on that no back-to-back thing. And, and luckily we don't have any back-to-backs until – uh, I think a week from Friday we play a back-to-back, and, and maybe by then he'll be almost to the point where uh, he can play every night. 
Uh, I think he's being limited to about, well, I think they said 20, 24 minutes. I think he played 27 last night. But I thought he looked very comfortable. He looked good. Uh, he looked like Lou to me uh, when he's been out there. And I, I think one of the things probably is he wants to play more minutes and wants to get out there maybe every night. And they're trying to, you know, hold him back a little bit to make sure everything's okay because he did come back. And, and it's a credit to uh, our head athletic trainer, Wally Blaze, and Pete Radulovic, who uh, has done all of his rehab with him, that uh, they got him back. And, and, you know, I think a lot sooner than, than maybe a lot of people had expected. Steven, watching the Spurs game, you, you can really feel comfortable about this Hawks team and saying that, you know what, they went against Tim Duncan and, and his experience uh, putting up 20-20 when it comes to rebounds and points. Um, you have to really be excited about what this Hawks team should be able to do moving forward if they could find a few more pieces. Do you see this team finding those pieces and making a chance to make a run to the playoffs? Well, I, like I said, I, you know, I think in the Eastern Conference it's wide open for everybody to make the playoffs. I mean, whether they – make any changes or not, if they stayed the way it is right now, I think we'd be in the playoffs and, uh, you know, good enough to do that. Uh, and, and maybe even be, you know, three, four, five, somewhere in there. Uh, but who knows? I mean, you know, Danny has said many times that uh, a lot of the contracts he have are, are, are flexible contracts. They, uh, they signed a lot of these contracts in mind to, in, in case anything comes along that could be a, a big trade or, or somewhere to tweak something that they've got you know, available funds for that, they've got available contracts for that, and I think that's all part of the, the whole overall plan is that they try to, to work things to where it can be flexible, and if something comes along, they, they would be able to do it, where, you know, some teams are locked in and, they, and they're stuck and they can't do anything. So I, I think that's one of the things that's been in the Hawks' favor right now is that they have that flexibility. Well, it's a pleasure, Steve, and we look forward to hearing you tomorrow night right here on Sports Radio 92.9, the game as you call the Hawks-Clippers game. Thanks again. Carl, sorry to hear about your uh, fantasy league. It's, uh... <laughs> it's everywhere. <laughs> it's well, you know, Kamala won't let it go. So. <laughs> oh, great. He's spreading the love. <laughs> Thanks, Steve.